Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about a new teaser that just came out that I think is very interesting and totally deserves a breakdown. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is coming from The Flash Podcast. I'm going to leave a link to them in the description below. You can go check out the whole interview they did with Eric Wallace. It's a great hour-long interview. I think I'm going to make like maybe one or two more videos on what was said because we're going to be hitting like one main point that Eric Wallace talked about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So Eric Wallace, he did this interview and it was with the Flash podcast. They talked for over an hour and there were quite a few revelations. But I think the biggest thing that stood out to me was what he said about season six, episode one. Obviously that was two seasons ago. So that was back at the start of the black hole storyline and it was the beginning of Eva's story and you know, the McCulloch's in general. And so in episode one, basically there was this scene. You guys remember it, it was Godspeed facing off against a flash, but it turned out to not be the real Godspeed, right? And it was a clone. And this was the event that set off what happened in the back half of the season. So Eric actually goes into details about what was supposed to be in that scene. And it's very interesting. So it turns out that that Godspeed clone was literally something that he just thought of on the spot. And that was because there was supposed to be another villain instead during that scene. And this villain is described as badass by Eric Wallace in the interview. And apparently they're going to be showing up in the next season. Well, that is the plan as of right now. But the reason why this villain didn't show up was apparently because they couldn't afford the VFX for the sequence. And so it seems like it would have been someone pretty big and maybe a teaser for something more, kind of like what we ended up getting with Godspeed. But the reason why Godspeed was introduced was obviously you had Godspeed in season five. There was that one shot episode and Eric Wallace liked the episode and I think most of us liked the episode. But he thought, hmm, okay, so this wasn't like a huge thing. Like in the comics, Godspeed is much more powerful than this and there's a lot more to him. So he thought, who could I replace this villain we can't afford with? And he came up with the idea of introducing Godspeed, but a clone, because that can be explained later. And so that's the reason why he put Godspeed in instead, because he just went with it. And the writing staff, even though they questioned him, they were like, okay, sure, like, we're going to trust you, you're our new showrunner. And so he promised them that he would figure it out, like, six months later, he said in the interview. So obviously it was a bit longer until he actually properly figured it out because it only came to fruition in this season rather than, like, at the end of last season or something like that. But that's basically the origins behind the Godspeed clones. It was something that they came up with on the spot specifically Eric Wallace and it was something that they didn't plan to do and they didn't have like a main overarching storyline in mind but they came up with it and they figured out how to link everything together by the time of season seven which is the season after and so who could this mystery badass villain be that they couldn't afford for a VFX sequence but they could afford Godspeed because Godspeed I presume was pretty expensive right and obviously like in real life, you just get a guy, you make the suit. Well, actually you don't make the suit, you use the suit that they use in season five, so you don't even have to pay for that. Just pay the stuntman, and then obviously you do some VFX of him. But with this other person, it seems like maybe it was just the VFX like Eric said, but maybe they had to create like a whole new real life costume. Maybe that would have been part of the price. But yeah, this is definitely a VFX heavy villain, Probably a speedster villain given that they were replaced by Godspeed and apparently according to Eric Wallace he wants to introduce this villain in season 8 and he says hopefully obviously that isn't concrete don't take it with absolute certainty but it's something that they are planning to do and could this be a main villain? I think it's very possible I think it would have been more of a teaser kind of like what we got with Godspeed in the end with the clone showing up for the first time so who could this be though? Now, let me think. Well, we've got like a few options that people have been theorizing about for a long time. Obviously, Red Death and Cobalt Blue are the big two that everyone has been thinking about. So if we look at Red Death's powers, he would be pretty expensive. They would have to make a new suit 
they would have to obviously hire a stuntman, but they did with Godspeed, so that's no different. But I think the suit would be pretty expensive for Red Death. And then you got to do the VFX as well. So maybe it was just a lot more work in general than doing something that they've done before. They've got animations for Godspeed that they've already used from season five that they can reference back to. And it's a lot less work than creating something brand new. So Red Death could be an option here. In terms of Cobalt Blue, obviously sometimes he is technically a speedster and just like Red Death, they would have to create a new suit for him. Also, they would have to get probably, if they were going how the fan theories go, not just a stuntman, but actually Rick Kosnack, aka Eddie Fawn, because that is what people have been theorizing about. So imagine if Cobalt Blue does show up, I'm pretty sure it's going to be him playing him. So they would have to pay for him. That is a lot more expensive than a stuntman. And they would have to, in VFX, get his likeness. I don't know if there was much VFX done before with him when he was on the show. So that would be pretty expensive if they were going to do some sort of running scene or some sort of battle scene where he was fully VFX. So I think those two are pretty good options as people have been theorizing about. But there is a high chance it could be someone else because Flash has so many villains and DC Comics overall has so many villains that it literally is just you pick one out of the hat and it could be them. But what do you guys think about all of that? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get on to our next topic. This is still talking about the Flash, but it's a bit about the Flash film as well because there's some interesting stuff that's been going around. Obviously, The Flash is currently filming. They went up to Glasgow a couple of weeks ago and have started filming up there instead of London. I was actually on The Flash set when, you know, they were shooting in London. That was really cool. I kind of just missed Supergirl by a couple of hours, which is a bummer. But I did see Barry and Iris. But up in Glasgow, it seems that they've been doing a lot of Barry in his Flash suit. And so there were some leaks going around and one of the leaks showed like a pretty good look at Ezra Miller in his new Flash suit. From the limited angle that I see, I think it's a pretty damn good upgrade because, I mean, the other suit was really bad. It was just like a tin can. So I don't think they have much to kind of go on. Like... It's always going to be better, right? That's what I'm trying to get at. But anyway, so you see that suit. I thought it was pretty cool. And obviously we need to wait for like a better look because it's just like a shot from the side that we were able to see. But there was some photos that were going around about Ezra going around with someone that looks extremely like him, probably a stunt double. And they were actually filming a scene. Now, this has got people speculating that maybe the Flash film is replacing Reverse Flash with none other than an evil version of Barry, who is probably Savitar. Now, this is obviously just fan speculation right now. Nothing has been confirmed, but this would be an interesting twist on the comics if it was Savitar. And you know what? I think Flashpoint would potentially work with Savitar, but it would upset a lot of hardcore Flashpoint fans. And myself, I would really like it to be Reverse Flash because I just want to see him on the big screen because he's one of the best Flash villains and DC Comics villains in general. So it would be great to establish him inside the DCEU finally. However, I do like Savitar and I do like the idea of like a darker version of Barry. And Savitar is the literal embodiment of like everything that could go wrong with Barry and has gone wrong with Savitar. And so I want to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. You can also click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. Tomorrow we are going to be live streaming at about half 11 UK time, so that's GMT. Translate it to whatever time zone you're in. I know that is going to be half 7 Eastern Standard Time if you're in New York or the East Coast. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for all my other coverage. Obviously, we've got Stargirl coming out very soon and Supergirl is coming back. So exciting times and also Superman Lois is returning. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.